song you just heard, Sing Sing, and we hope you enjoyed hearing it, too. It was written five years ago, which is very different from our next song, which was written by the beloved composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. It was written two months before he died in 1791. It is an adaptation of Mozart's clarinet concerto, and we are honored to be accompanied by Huey Lovelady for this piece. songs. Some serious like the adagio you just heard, and others let us appreciate a rich musical history in America. Our next song is an African-American spiritual called Shine On Me. Listen as we introduce the tune, add a counter melody, and finish by singing in three parts.
Now we would like to present a folk song from Ghana. We will be singing in the Ashanti language, beginning with these words, Tue Tue, Burima Tue Tue, which means, Sorry, sorry, sir, this small boy has made you fall flat. We, ho <laughs> we hope you enjoy our rendition of Tue Tue. And we have a, a famous percussionist hidden in the back. can make you feel like you're outside, hearing thunder, seeing lightning, and feeling rain. Listen as our technical director, Scott Kane, creates exciting weather sounds as we sing the song, Storm.
We now want to present a classic American song written in 1926. We will be joined the same year the Smith Theater was built. We will be joined by Rick Lillard as he does some scat singing with us. We hope you enjoy. Bye bye, Black.
mountain. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. So many pretty girls, I can't count them. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. My true love, she lives in nature. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. She will come and I will fetch her. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. My true love's a blue-eyed daisy. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. If I don't get her, I'll go crazy. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. My true love lives in a hollow. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. She won't come and I will follow. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, lally, day. Thank you. 
Did anyone in the audience know that song called Bowling Green? A soul? We didn't know it. We adults didn't know it, and the kids certainly didn't know it. And that was a really tough piece to put together, all those folk songs. All right, so the children are going to go get in their seats, and I need to turn the lights on just a second here. And as the children get in their seats, the boys are making their way to the stage this way. Now, I know a lot of you have heard this story, but maybe some of you haven't. So I'm going to tell you why we have now separated from the girls and boys to boys and girls. The boys have a special problem that the girls don't run into, and it's the place where their voices begin to change. There are some boys that at that point say, wow, I can't sing like I used to sing, and I'm just going to quit. And that happens a lot. It's got to be the teacher has got to know what to do with the situation. Because it happens to everybody, every, every male, it happens. Some people end up just being tenors. They don't have to worry so much, but things change. And Mrs. Blessing, who directs this group, is the person who is so good at working with voice, changing voices. So these gentlemen are going to do another one of those American traditional songs. Is anyone talking but me? I guess I'm the one talking. So anyway, she's ready, and they're ready, and I'm finished. Thank you. 
I guess I'm going to introduce them. <laughs> okay. This is a fantastic group, and they've been working with Felice. They call themselves the Fifth Street Boys, and I they weren't in existence this time last year. So you get to see the yearly premiere of the Fifth Street Boys. Well, guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm sick and tired of this island in the South Pacific. But we've got sunlight on the sand. And moonlight on the sea. And mangoes and bananas. I mean, you can pick them right off the tree. Okay, okay. You've got some good points, but what is there to do? We can play volleyball or ping pong. There are so many dandy games. <sighs> dandy games. I think, I think something's missing. We've got sunlight on the sand. We've got mangoes and bananas you can pick right off a tree. We've got volleyball and ping pong. And a lot of what ain't we got? We ain't got things. We get packages from home. We get movies. We get shows. We get speeches from our skipper and advice from Tokyo Rose. We get letters doused with perfume. We get dizzy from the smell. What don't we get? You know darn well. We've got nothing to put on a clean white suit for. What we need is what there ain't no substitute for. Well, there is nothing like a day. There is nothing like a day. There is nothing in the world. There is nothing you can name that is anything like a day. We feel restless, we feel blue, we feel fair and gentle sex. We would like to feel the feeling of some arms around our necks. We feel hungry as the wolf had when he met Red Riding Hood. What don't we feel? We don't feel good. Lots of things in life are beautiful, but brother... There is one particular thing that is nothing whatsoever in any way, shape, or form like any other. <laughs> well? There is nothing like a day, there is nothing like a day, nothing in, in the, the world. world. There is nothing
nothing you can name that is anything like a day. There are no books like a day. No books like a day. And nothing looks like a day. Nothing looks like a day. There are no drinks like a day. No drinks like a day. And nothing thinks like a day. Nothing thinks like a day. And nothing acts like a day. Nothing acts like a day. Or tracks like a day. Or tracks like a day. There ain't a thing that's wrong with any man here that can't be cured by putting him near. A girly, womanly female, girly, womanly female, feminine dame. Well, you guys have definitely made some good points. And I guess we're still going to be this, on this island, in the South Pacific. I guess all we can do is dream. to this song. Now, anyone that's ever worked with Felice knows that sooner or later we all come to agree that Felice is right. <laughs> so here I am <laughs> to deliver the goods. This next song does need, she's absolutely right, it does need an introduction because it's a little bit different. Actually, it's a whole lot different. This song was written during the COVID-19 crisis and as COVID unfolded throughout the world, it's, it became known that this period of time was going to be linked with lots and lots of suffering. And so not only the suffering that people endured during that time, but also the division and the and the criticism and, and all of this diversity of, of thought and, and everything that came, came about, the conflicts. Well, it seemed almost like when we isolated ourselves one from another, 
that the very fabric of our society began to, to fall apart. And there was a composer whose name is Eric Whitaker. He's a popular composer today. And in the midst of all of this COVID disarray that was happening in March of 2020, he realized the power of music to uplift people and to unite people. And Eric wrote these words. He says, may we sing together always. May our voices be soft. May our singing be music for others. And may it keep others aloft. May we sing together always. May our voices be strong. May we hear the singing always. And may we always sing along. Sing gently, my friends. Always sing gently as one. Now, when you listen to those uplifting, unifying words, you would think that you're about to hear a song with beautiful melodies that just flow and encompass us all and take us to a really happy place. And you think of harmonies that are going to be so beautiful and rhythm that just flows and, and goes with the song. Well, it isn't going to happen that way. For you see, we have the beautiful lyrics that the, the gentleman will be singing. But those beautiful lyrics are operating against a, a dissonant harmony. Notes that don't get along. Notes that don't sound like they're right, but even when they are. And a rhythm that doesn't quite go together. It's shifting here and there. And then each voice part is expressing these beautiful, uplifting words in their own way, not to come together, but the way that Eric frames it at the end when he's saying, let us always sing gently as one. As we near the end of the piece, notice that the dissonances disappear. And the rhythms, all we began to say the words at the same time, and most beautifully of all, the last note of the song is one note. Please enjoy Eric Whitaker's Sing Gently. Oh. 
stage and as they come up here I'll tell you who they are. This would be Landon and Mr. Who? James and Cameron and Aiden and Tucker and they all know where to go I think. I hope. Alright guys. I'm taking this with me. Let every good fellow now join in our song. Viva la company! Success to each other and pass it along. Viva la company! Viva la, viva la, viva la more! Viva la, viva la, viva la more! Viva la more! Viva la more! Viva la company! A friend on your left and a friend on your right. Viva la company! In willing endeavor, our hands will unite. Viva la company! Viva la, viva la, viva la more, viva la, viva la, viva la more, viva la more, viva la company. Now water and water our circle expands, viva la company. We'll send out our song into far away lands, viva la company. Viva la, viva la, viva la more, viva la, viva la, viva la more, viva la company. Thank you so much, sixth graders. We appreciate that. Now we're going to. I think I'm in the right place. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to go back to this group. And I probably wondered about the, the young man on your left over here with uh, a good amount of facial hair. We think, wow, oh, what grade is he in? He didn't look like an eighth grader to me. Well, he's, he is, his last name is Kaminsky. And um, the Kaminsky family has been with us forever. They have a bunch of kids, and we've lost them all now except one. Mariah, who's now in the children's group, and she'll be moving into the girls' group next year. But we, and he loves to sing. He's a grown-up. He has a real job. You know, he gets paid money for a real job. But he comes to sing with us because he enjoys singing, and we appreciate you, Micah. All right. Here comes uh, another serious piece. <laughs> Not as serious as
darker time, people lived in chaos. All around them, things seemed to fall apart. Clothes ripped, vessels leaked, appliances fell into disrepair. But one day, something amazing was created that changed the world. Was it a strong sword? Nah. A powerful wand? Don't be ridiculous. A magic ring? Well, sort of. Listen and you'll see. Forged from some rubber adhesive with fabric backing so it would be tall, and it granted whoever possessed it the power to fix lots of household stuff. It has magic more potent than malice, it's stronger than the thunderbolt of Sue. There's a foe in the world it can't conquer, so keep it near, it always comes in use. Duct tape, duct tape, oh. Duct tape, duct tape, oh. 